So you're getting a web hosting plan with DreamHost and you need a quick way to create a website, but coding is not an option. So WordPress comes to mind. And you've heard that Astra with more than 2 million installs is the most popular WordPress theme of all time. Well, in this video, I will show you how in just a few clicks, you can create a beautiful website with Astra and starter templates. And all of that straight from the DreamHost dashboard. Hello, I'm Kay from the Astra team. And today I will show you how to deploy a beautiful WordPress slash Astra powered website with DreamHost web hosting. I will show you how to do that in just a few clicks and how to edit the content to suit your business. Now let's take a look at what we're going to build and we'll keep it simple and beautiful with this design from starter templates. So we'll go from this design here to this. So basically I will show you how to change the logo, how to change the text so you can edit the content, how to change the colors and of course how to change images. Next, setting up WordPress from your DreamHost dashboard. So once you've gone to the DreamHost website, selected your favorite web hosting package and follow the self-explanatory steps, you will land on your dashboard. So the next step is you want to go to WordPress, click on install WordPress, select your domain or subdomain and click on install. Next, select a site purpose for a guided WordPress install. So you have local business, portfolio, blog, e-commerce, other and none. Now, if you don't know, you can choose other and really customize it. But let's go for a local business. Because for the sake of this video, let's imagine that you are an accountant and want to build an accountant website. Now, of course, you can adapt this to any industry you're working in. So let's click on local business and then click on next. So now we land on this page with the recommended plugins. And as you can see, we have the starter templates plugin. Now, before we proceed, let's take a look at a quick reminder. So your website will be hosted by DreamHost, which means that the files of your website will sit physically on a server at DreamHost. Now, in order to access this website, you need a domain name, which more than likely you also got from DreamHost. Now, that's all good, but if you don't want to code, you need some kind of software. And the most popular one is WordPress because more than 40% of all websites in the world use WordPress. Now, that's all good. WordPress is a fantastic machine, but in order to display websites, WordPress uses a system called Themes. And the theme we'll be using today is called Astra. Astra is a super lightweight theme, and as mentioned in the intro, more than 2 million websites trust Astra, and websites like Stanford University, NASA, or Google, just to name a few. So Astra will help shape your website in terms of design, layouts, and so on. Now, in order to go even faster, we're going to use a plugin called Starter Templates. And basically, Starter Templates is a library of more than 200 ready to import designs. So in just a few clicks, you can install those beautiful designs and start building your website. And last but not least, in order to edit the content of your website, we'll be using a plugin called Spectra. And Spectra is a very powerful visual website builder built on top of the default WordPress editor. And basically, it's what we're going to use to edit the content. So now you should have a clear idea of which does what. Now the beauty of it is that you can install all of it from the DreamHost dashboard. And the second beauty of it is that we're just going to use free tools like the tools you see here, apart from your web hosting, all the rest is free. Now they also come with premium versions. And if you're interested, I'll put some links in the description below. But for this video, we'll just be using the free versions. Okay, so back in the DreamHost dashboard. And as you can see, we have the starter templates plugin. So make sure the starter templates is selected, but it's selected by default. And then you can decide whether or not you want to keep all the other plugins. Now for the time being, let's keep it simple, but make sure whatever you do that you keep the DreamHost panel login ticks because this is going to help you to provide access seamlessly to your WordPress dashboard. Let's scroll back up and you can see we have Spectra installed. So let's click on install and we'll be taken to this screen where we see the WordPress installation in progress. And there you go, it's installed. So next you want to identify which WordPress install you want to access. Click on the three dots on the right hand side and click on WordPress. And here we are, WordPress has been installed and what you see right here is the WordPress admin dashboard. Next, installing a starter template. So once you are in the WordPress admin dashboard, you'll be served with this screen. So all you need to do is click on get started and next click on build your website now. 
select your page builder. In this case, we're going to use block editor. And here you have access to the starter templates library. So you can either scroll, look for a design that you like, or you can type here in the search field, or you can go through the various drop downs. Now for this video, we're going to use the example of an accountant. So let me click on accountant and I like this design. So we're going to click on that one. So here we have a few options. We can upload our logo, but I will show you how to do it later. So let me click on skip and continue. And next we can choose the colors and fonts. Here we have our default colors, but let me pick this color palette here. So let me click on it. And as you can see, changes are reflected. Next, we can change the font. So we got some font pairs here. This is the default one, but I can click and change and select other fonts. But I like the original one. So let me click back on it and click on continue. Next, before you click on the submit and build my website button, you may want to fill in this form because that's going to help the Astra team to serve you even better in the future. Now, as you can see in the advanced options, it's going to install and activate the Astra team. So you don't have to do it yourself. Just make sure this option is selected. So with all options selected here, let's click on submit and build my website and I'll sit back, relax and enjoy the flight. And voila, congratulations, your website is ready and it took just 33 seconds to build. And no, I'm not kidding. So of course you can click to tweet if you want to share the good news with the world and then click on view your website. And voila, your website is ready to roll. Now, of course, unless your name is Joyce Roberts and you look like her, well, you may want to change the content of your website, right? And that's precisely what we're going to talk about next, editing the content of your website. So there are two ways you can access editing the content of a page and both lead to the same place. I'm going to show you. So right now I'm logged in as an administrator and you can see it because you can see the administrator toolbar here at the top. So what I can do is just click on edit page. And if I do, I can start editing my page as you may have guessed. Now the other way to do it is to go back to the dashboard. So I'm just going to click on dashboard. Then in the left panel, you want to click on pages hover over the name of the page you want to edit and click on edit. And here we are in the WordPress editor. So the first thing you may want to change is the name. So I'm just going to hover over the text, just click on it. And as you can see, I can start typing. So I'm going to select the text and change it to what I want. John Doe. Now, as you can imagine, I can do the same thing for the text just below. I can add some characters just like I would in any other text editor. Now, as mentioned before, all these blocks or widgets come from the Spectra plugin. And if you want to know what you're using, just click on one element and you will see the name appear here in the top right corner. So right now I'm on buttons, but if I click back here, I'm on the info box, as you can see here. And if you want to add more, just click on the plus sign in the top left corner. And here you see all these spectral blocks. So let's say I want to add a block quote. I can just click on it. And here's my block quote. Now, of course, here it doesn't look good. I need to style it. And for that, I will go to the style tab with my block quote block selected. Go to quote, quote color, and then I would just pick the white color. And it already looks better. But right now, I don't want to use a block quote. So I'm just going to click on the three dots and click on remove block quote. Okay, next I want to change the image. So you may have guessed it. I'm just going to click on the image and here I have this menu bar here. So I'm just going to click on replace, but I could also have done it here on the right hand side in the style panel. But for the time being, let me click on replace and I can either replace this image with an image from the media library or I can upload one. So here is the media library, but I want to upload. So once again, I'm going to click on the upload tab click on select files and I already have my image ready. Click on upload and click on select. And there you go. Next, I'm going to click on update. And now if I go back to the front end and refresh, voila, John Doe is in the building. So as you can see, it's super easy to change the content of your website. But if you want to get a deeper knowledge of the Astra theme, I'm going to redirect you to this video and I put the link in the description below. This is a total masterclass. More than two hours, you will know everything about Astra. Now, if we go back, it's all nice. We changed the content, but as you can see here on top, there's something we forgot to change and it's the logo. Next, changing the logo. 
So back in the WordPress admin, you want to look at the left panel. You want to hover over Astra and click on dashboard. Next, as you scroll to the quick settings section, you will see a bunch of options here. They all lead to the same place, the customizer, but they will lead you to their respective spot. So let's click on site identity. So once you get in the customizer, you can either use the options here in the left panel, you can navigate, you can go back and select other options, or you can just hover over the element that you want to change in the header, like I'm doing here. So let's zoom in. And as you can see, I got this edit icon. So I'm just going to click on it. And as you can see now in the left panel, I have the option to change this logo. So I'm just going to click on change image and I can either select an image from my media library or I can click on free images. But for a logo, more than likely you want to upload your own logo. So click on upload files tab and click on select files. Next, I'm going to select my logo, click on upload and click on choose image. And there you go. Next, click on publish. And now if I go back to the front end, let's refresh our page. And there you go. Looking beautiful. So as you saw, with just free tools that we installed straight from the DreamHost dashboard, we were able to easily change the content of our website. And we went from this to this. So we changed the logo, we changed the text, we changed the colors, even the images. Now, if we were able to achieve this with just the free version, just imagine what you could do with the pro version of Astra and start a template. Now, I've already mentioned the masterclass video that you can find on this YouTube channel if you want to know Astra inside out. But if you want to know the difference between the free and the pro version of Astra, then you may want to look at this video. And of course, the links are in the description below. So you're now fully ready to install a beautiful and professional looking website straight from the DreamHost dashboard. It doesn't get easier than that. Now question, will you be building a personal or a professional website? Please let us know in the comments below.